<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, we're going to be covering the Switch 2 yet again, because I am going to be covering something which is, admittedly, not completely exclusive to the Switch 2. This is actually a bit of a redux from a previous video I did, because I did cover this on the original Switch. But thankfully, since the Switch 2 is pretty similar in regard to the setup for this here, uh, well, this will work on the Switch 2 as well. And from what I've seen as well from some people who have even tried this out, it seems like the browser on the Nintendo Switch 2 seems to be a little bit beefier than the original Switch. So you might have a little more fun and you might be able to get some more mileage out of this here. But this is going to be showing you all how you can use the hidden internet browser on the Switch 2. Now this really only requires a couple of things. First of all, it does require your Switch 2 to be connected to the internet, and that's really about it. Keep in mind, this is really not a modification or a hack. This is nothing permanent to your Switch, and this is just changing the DNS on here. You don't even need any mods on your Switch 2 in order to get this working. So even for the original Switch, if you have a completely stock Switch, this works fine on there as well too. Although I'm not going to be showing something like a hidden application that you could download and install, this here is going to be what we're using, which is going to be Browse DNS. Now, it states here that Browse DNS is a public DNS server that enables devices with hidden or restricted built-in web browsers to browse the open internet. And you'll see there's two IP addresses right here. One of them is going to be for North America. It's going to be recommended to utilize that. And if you're across the pond over in the EU, you're going to be utilizing this IP right here. Now, do keep in mind, if let's say you're not in North America and you're not in the EU, you're probably just going to want to pick the DNS, which is going to be geographically closest to you. And in order to set this up, again, make sure your switch is connected to the internet and is online. The next thing you can do is come down here, go to your system settings, and open them up. Scroll over to the internet option, navigate over to internet settings, and tap the A button. This should show your history of saved networks. So you're going to want to find the network you're currently connected to. Mine is going to be the wired one, for example, but if you want to use a wireless one, there's no issue with that either. Find your connection that you're currently connected to and tap the A button. Once you do that, you're going to have a few options here in which you can find change settings, and yet again, tap the A button. Now navigate down to DNS settings, tap A on here, and change this to manual. Now you only need to change the primary DNS for IPv4, but tap the A button right here, and this is going to come up. We're going to go ahead and delete all the numbers here except for the periods. I'm going to have this page linked down below in the description in case these IP addresses ever change here, but yet again, like I said, if you're in North America, use this IP address. If you're in the EU, use this IP address. And if you're in neither of those territories, go ahead and pick the IP address which is geographically closest to you. Once you pick the IP address to connect to, go ahead, punch it in, hit the OK option, and now come over to Save. Once it's been saved, you can hit OK, and it will bring you back out here. Once you hit save, hit OK, and it's going to bring you back out to your saved networks, but it's going to look like you're disconnected. Now, even though it doesn't look like you're connected to it, find the connection that you just modified, tap the A button, and tap A on the first option here. Mine is going to be to connect to this network. So tap that, let it connect for a few seconds, and once it says this network requires user registration, hit OK, and check this out. It's now going to change it up a little bit, and would you look at this here, it now brings you to the Browse DNS forms, and this here is the browser, so congratulations, you are now able to access this hidden browser that you might not have known about before. I will say you're probably going to have to play around with this a little bit, because it might take some getting used to just to navigate this here, but you can check out the quick links which are right here. One of them is Browse DNS Info, so you can check this out if you want more information on this, which is the page that I've been showing you all. Additionally, we can go ahead and go back here, and one of the options is going to be the Switch Brew dashboard, which I recommend checking out here. Once you come over to the Switch Brew dashboard, this is where you're going to have a little more control. So if you want to go directly to Google, you can. You can also tweak some of your settings on here. So if you want to do anything such as changing some system settings on here, changing the themes on here, you're welcome to do that. Although do keep in mind, you will have to make, create, and log into an account in order to get this set up. But it looks pretty nice. I do like this setup here where they make it look pretty in line with the Switch's UI. The big thing though might be this enter URL section right here where you can come over here and well enter a URL for a website you might want to go to. One of them for example we can make this a little meta would be youtube.com so if we hit that load page here as you can see it's not going to be the snappiest browser unfortunately but you can go through and you can play around a bit with this. Let me actually see if one of these videos loads. I'll try and load up one of my own videos here. 
here we go. This is one of the limitations on here. You could see that I did try to load up a YouTube video, but it just gives us this error code saying that this feature is not available. So if you're wanting to do something that is more just like browsing and reading on here, you can. But if you're trying to do something a little more advanced, such as, well, video viewing on here, unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit limited. I did expect this, but I will say this was a little disappointing just because at the moment I'm recording this here, the YouTube app has not been ported over to the Switch 2 and the original Switch YouTube app does not work on the Switch 2. So, so I guess there's just no way at this moment in time I can watch YouTube videos on the Switch 2, but I'm sure that will come with time. Now, another limitation, if you come back over here and you notice the time left section right here, that is because this browser by default seems to have a 20 minute time limit on there. So if you want to keep using the browser, you're more than welcome to, but you'll really only be able to use it within 20 minute increments or so, similar to how the Switch 1 browser was. However, for the time being, I'm going to hit the X button to end this and the screen will close. Let's just say we're done browsing. Now that we're back over at the main menu itself, there's a couple things to keep in mind here. First of all, whenever you do want to use the browser itself, you must make sure those DNS settings are dialed in. And once they are set, yet again, you have to go to your system settings, navigate to internet, go to internet settings, find your connection, tap the A button, connect to that network, let it air out, and then once it airs out, you're going to go to the next screen here. And once it does that, boom, you're back within the browser. If you want to know more about that browser timeout, you can always come back to this page, check out the browser timeout section, and right here, you do see that there's a lot of good information about this because there's been many people who've been using this for years. So I'd recommend giving this a quick read over as well. The very last thing here will be that you might notice that you're just having trouble connecting online and you might not be able to play your games, play online, any of that stuff. That is intended because essentially this works on blocking and redirecting some of the URLs that your system would point towards to the browse DNS forms themselves. But in order to actually get your system to a normal state and play online yet again, you just need to revert your changes. To do that, again, you come over to your system settings, go down to internet, go into internet settings, find wherever your connection is, tap the A button, and go back to change settings. And from here, you could either change your DNS settings to whichever DNS you choose, such as the Google DNS if you want to do that, or if you just want to set it back to automatic, you can change it back to automatic, hit save, and that's all there is to it. At this point, you just need to give your system a few seconds to reconnect, and it should get you back online in a normal way, so that way you can connect back to the eShop, you can connect to the Nintendo Switch Online services, you can do whatever you need to on here. Either way, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, hopefully it helped out, and if it did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.